Hey everybody, listen, in this class, in our discrete mathematics class, you guys will be using a platform called Codeo in order to complete your problem sets. Codeo is not a new programming language or anything like that that you have to learn. It's simply a platform that allows you to create a document using LaTeX and then easily and quickly convert it over to a PDF file. And so once you get used to it, I think you're really going to like it. You have in our classroom a lot of resources to help you get started with Codeo. So if you go to your course menu and then down to your learning modules and click on the Codeo part of the table of contents, you can see that you have a, a Codeo and Tech Studio guide, you have a student guide, you have a really nice tutorial there that's going to give you some good clarification on how to launch your assignments with Codeo. Please, please look at every single one of those resources very slowly and very carefully because in the long run, they will make life easier. What I want to do for you today is just give you kind of a, a quick jump start on how to get started on an actual assignment in Codeo. Again, it's not a programming language. What you will be using is LaTeX. So all of your um, <clears throat> answers to all the problem sets, you will need to enter using LaTeX. Here's another thing. You also have a really great resource for LaTeX, if you're not familiar with that, in Zybooks. So in our class, if you go to Zybooks, just go to Zybooks in general, not any one particular assignment, just go to Zybooks in general, you will see that chapter nine is a chapter completely dedicated to the LaTeX that you will need for this class. So if I expand that out, you can see you have the preliminaries. There's a section where it will give you all the LaTeX you'll need for module one, for modules two through four, and then again for modules five through eight. Please use that very, very uh, liberally. Use it as much as you can. Okay, so how do we use Codeo? Well, the first thing that you have to do is launch Codeo. So you're going to go to, say, the Module 1 problem set, and you're going to launch Codeo. So we're going to start at this point. When you go here and you launch this, the first thing you have to do is start the Tech Studio, and then you have to run the Tech Studio. Let's just give it a sec here. That will bring up a window that looks like this. All right, I'm just going to make this just a little bit bigger for us here. Okay, it's not a lot bigger, but a little bigger. Now, we want to open problem set one. So I'm going to go to file, open, got to open the workspace, and the module one assignment. So I'm going to open that, and there it is. But you can see it's all in LaTeX. Uh, so you have all of this LaTeX starting to start, and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down past all of just this preliminary information until you see, keep scrolling, begin document. That's where your document will begin, and it's titled Module 1 Problem Set. There's a, some other information there, but look right here, it says enter your name before this line. So here where it says your name here, you need to eliminate that and replace it with your name. So there's my name. Now, if you want to go ahead and see what that looks like as PDF, what you first have to do is you have to save it. Then once you save it, this build and view, it's kind of like the double arrow, you can also use F5 for that. I'm just going to click on that. Uh, let's see, I know it's F5, I don't want to see that. But right here is a preview of the PDF document. You can see it has SNHU's logo on it, um, some a bit of preliminary information, but there's my name on it right there. Okay, now, I don't want this to stay there because it takes up a lot of room. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. But actually, let me show you one other thing here. If you wanted to just preview what the problems look like, first of all, notice the directions. Type your solutions into this document. Be sure to show all steps for arriving at your solutions. That is super important, guys. You have got to show work and justify your final answers. Just giving a final number or a final answer may not receive full credit, so please keep that in mind. So, problem one. In the following question, the domain of discourse is a set of male patients in a clinical study. Here we're going to define the following predicates. 
P of X is that X was given the placebo. D of X is that X was given the medication. M of X is that X had migraines. What we're going to do is we're going to be given some statements and we need to transfer each statement into a logical expression first of all then we're going to negate the expression then we're going to apply De Morgan's law and then we're going to translate the De Morgan's law part of it into back into an, another English statement so there's a sample here for example this is a sample question some patient was given the placebo and the medication so if, if it's some patient that implies that there exists somebody so we have there exists an X and the, that patient was given the placebo that was P of X and that's the upside down V symbol and D of X so this would be the logical expression there exists X where P of X and D of X then for negate to negate that we just apply the negation symbol in front of it we're going to apply De Morgan's law here uh, and then translate the De Morgan's law back into an English statement so let's go ahead and just practice with one of these I want to show you how you can use the sample question to help you okay so let's see uh, sample question right here some patient was given the placebo and the medication and we've already taken a look at that now let's look at a real one here's our question every patient was given the medication or the placebo or both so every single patient not there just exists one but we want every patient and we want to say they were given the medication or the placebo or both now remember given the medication if you need to look back up there Given the medication was D of X, given the placebo was P of X. So we're going to remember that. Okay, but we want to enter our answer down here below this comment line. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the sample question to help me. So where, where it says begin itemize, I'm just going to copy all of that. And I'm going to paste it right here, right here paste it right there <clears throat> okay now there may be let's get rid of that there may be some mistakes but Codio will tell you if there's some mistakes maybe you copied too much or you left out one little symbol or something like that so <clears throat> let's go ahead and just do this first one remember every patient was given the medication or the placebo or both okay so because it's every patient I don't want there exists I'm going to backspace that out notice the dollar sign is already there the, the dollar sign means you're entering inline math the slashes are also very important but I want I don't want there exists I want for every so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the math miscellaneous math symbols over here this is my symbol for every I'm going to click on that uh, and there it is <clears throat> in latex that is for all so I have now for all I've got an extra slash in there I need to backspace that out for all X the slash and the semicolon are there P of X I want D of X because first I have given the medication or so I don't want and I want I'm going to leave the L because that's an important part of it I'm going to space that into or and then I have got the slash the backslash and the semicolon and instead of D of X I want P of X there and now that's what I want this is going to say for all X D of X or P of X now remember I didn't use exclusive or here I just use regular or which implies that or both is included in that so I don't need to worry about the or both that's already included in the regular or if I had used exclusive or then I would have also had to add something in there to indicate or both was necessary but I didn't need it in this case okay so what do you say we take a look at this now we're, we're what we're doing is we're taking a look only at this first one to see what it's going to look like as in our PDF file so again I'm going to click on that green double arrow the build and view tool and here it is remember if we scroll up there's my name now I'm going to scroll down to problem one not the sample question but down here so right here this is my first answer that I've entered for every X 
D of X or P of X. And there's that or symbol right there. Look how nice that looks. And, and I, I itemized these. So now I have the negation. We'll go ahead and do one more here. Let's go ahead and enter in the negation. So for the negation, because I did some copying and pasting, I have my dollar sign, I have my slash, um, I have my NEG, that means negation, but I don't want exists. Again, I want for all. So I'm going to backspace that out, click on for all. I've got an extra slash in there. Let me backspace that out for all. So not for all X, D of X, or P of X. Okay, so what do you say? We see what that looks like now. So here's our negation. Notice it's kind of highlighted in yellow, that last line that I entered in. So now I have not for all X, D of X or P of X. So that's looking really nice. Okay, so you can, you can get a preview after every step if you want that. Next, you'll have to apply De Morgan's Law and then um, translate your De Morgan's Law statement into, an, into English. And you'll be done with that first one. And you can just keep going from there. Okay, so hopefully that's going to give you a good start in Codio using LaTeX so you can get a good, good head start on your problem set. Hope this helps, guys.